Up and down the country, the Trussell Trust are working hard to ensure people living below the poverty line are able to access emergency food supplies. And I'm at the Countess Church in Ely to see how the food bank here is benefiting local people. The Ely Food Bank was set up in November 2012. Uh, this was a response to uh, local agencies uh, saying that there was a need out there and we'd done our own research. Uh, we quickly expanded and to date we've fed around about 8,000 people. Collection points have been set up across the city and the public can choose from a range of products to donate to help local people in crisis. Uh, we have a set list um, that goes to all food banks uh, across the uh, nation from Trussell Trust so people can donate uh, to most supermarkets. Um, generally it's been same, same with Waitrose and Tesco um, but often we just get a knock at the door and somebody comes uh, with a, a donation or through schools at harvest time and churches and so you know those supermarket don uh, collection points are really good for customers to give direct there uh, but yeah people are really generous. Donated items are stored in warehouses like this before being sorted by volunteers ready to hand out to clients at the food banks distribution centres. I'm mostly involved in the packing so we have a list of uh, food that uh, we distribute depending on whether or not somebody's um, a single, whether or not um, they have a family, and they get different amounts depending on uh, their, their circumstances. And people come in for all sorts of reasons. But what is the main reason for the current rise in food bank referrals? At the moment it's low income, so that's people who are receiving some amount of uh, payment into their household, but it's just not enough to, to make them uh, have a, um, a living, really. Cathy says that we need to address the main issues to ensure that vulnerable people don't have to rely on food banks in the future. Our biggest thing has been how people are treated um, uh, through their benefits and it seems to us a very harsh and nearly draconian attitude that somebody who is late for an appointment or even cannot make it or doesn't apply for the right number of jobs in a week is sanctioned or punished for what can be up to 16 weeks. And for some, that is literally taking every penny um, available to them away. And that, you know, no wonder they come to us several times during that, that period. So, yes, I would say to the government, you've got to, to just draw back on, on how, how these sanctions are working and, and imagine yourselves without any money for 16 weeks. We, I wouldn't cope. I don't think, you know, who would? In the past year, one million people have received a food parcel like this from their nearest food bank and it's these shocking statistics that prompted one local to sign up as a volunteer. I felt very strongly that I think it's disgraceful that in 2015 there are people struggling to put food on the table for themselves and for their families. So as long as the hunger problem continues, food banks will always be ready to open their doors to those in need.